Solve problems on Newton's method. Recall that Newton's method can be used to approximate solutions to equations of the type f of x equals zero for some differentiable function f. We start with an initial guess and then improve that. So here our initial guess x zero is a negative number. To improve that approximation for the solution, we go up to the graph of f to the point x zero f at x zero and we draw the line tangent to the graph of f at that point. This tangent line, the red line, intersects x-axis at the point x1, which is our next approximation of the solution. This is clearly a better approximation than what x0 was. We may repeat this. Starting from the point x1 on the x-axis, we go up to the point on the graph of f to the point x1, f at x1, and we draw the corresponding line tangent to the graph of f at that point. This line intersects the x-axis at the point x2, which is our next approximation of the solution of the equation f of x equals zero. This can be formulated as follows. For a computer program, the input is a differentiable function f and an initial value x0 for the solution of the equation f of x equals zero and a positive number epsilon. The role of this positive number epsilon is to tell us when we should stop the iteration. Iteration step is the following. Starting with the function small case f, we form the function capital case f which takes the value x minus f at x divided by f prime at x at the point x. Then we set x1 to be f at x0, that is capital case f at x0, and x2 is capital case f at x1, and so forth. So xn plus 1 is always capital case f evaluated at xn. And we stop this iteration when the points xn do not move very much anymore. So we stop when the absolute value of xn plus 1 minus xn is less than epsilon. This criteria for stopping the iteration does not guarantee that the actual program here uh, stops or terminates after finite number of steps. It may happen if we choose our initial value in an unfortunate way that the iteration that we, we form will not stop. So an additional safeguard for stopping the program must be also in place. The problems to be considered are the following. First, apply Newton's method to approximate the root of the polynomial 6 times x to the power 8 minus 31 x to the power 6 plus 40 x to the fourth minus x squared minus 6, which root is in the interval from 0 to 1. In the second problem, we have to apply Newton's method to the equation 1 over x minus a equals 0 to estimate numerically the reciprocal of a given number a. And in the third problem we apply Newton's method to the equation x squared minus a equals 0 to estimate numerically the square root of a positive number a. We use this algorithm to approximate square root of 7. Our task is to apply Newton's method to approximate the root of the polynomial 6 time, times x to the power 8 minus 31 x to the power 6 plus 40 x to the power 4 minus x squared minus 6 in the interval from 0 to 1. Solution goes in the following way. We first form the function capital case f, starting with the function small case f, which is this polynomial. Capital case f at x is x minus small case f at x divided by small case f prime at x and when applied to this polynomial we get x minus then the following fraction 6 times x to the power 8 minus 31 x to the power 6 minus plus 40 x to the fourth minus x squared minus 6 and that has to be divided by 48 times x to the power 7 minus 186 times x to the power 5 minus 160 times x cubed minus 2 times x this simplifies to 42 times x to the power 8 minus 155 times x to the power 6 plus 
120 times x to the fourth minus x squared plus 6, and that divided by 48 times x to the power 7 minus 186 times x to the power 5 plus 160 times x cubed minus 2x. This is the it function capital case F, which we use to approximate the solution. It is important to choose the initial guess correctly. This graph here shows uh, the graph of the function small case f, that is the graph of the polynomial 6 times x to the power 8 minus 31 x to the power 6 plus 40 x to the fourth minus x squared minus 6. This polynomial has several roots. We choose x0 to be 0 0.5. Then we use the function capital case f at x, which is 42 x to the power 8 minus 155 x to the power 6 plus 120 x to the fourth minus x squared plus 6 divided by 48 times x to the power 7 minus 186 times x to the power 5 plus 160 times x cubed minus 2x. And x0 is 0 0.5. x1 is the function capital case f evaluated at x0, which is approximately 0 0.8104, x2 is capital case F evaluated at x1, and that is approximately 0 0.7112, and x3 is then 0 0.7071. Now, in order to be certain that we have a solution, we need to evaluate the function F at x3 and nearby. So we evaluate the function f at the point x3, which is 0 0.7071, and we get minus 0 0.0002, a negative number. And the value of f at 0 0.7072 is approximately 0 0.002, a positive number. Therefore, we conclude since the function small case f, the polynomial, is a continuous function, that it actually does have a root between 0 0.7071 and 0 0.7072. We take the midpoint of this interval to be our approximation. It is 0 0.70715. And we know that this is pretty good approximation of the root already. Computers can add subtract and multiply easily. Division is a different story. Newton's method can be applied here. In this problem, our task is to apply Newton's method to the equation 1 over x minus a equals 0 to estimate numerically the reciprocal of a given number a, which number a has to be different from 0. This will be solved in the following way. First, we form the function small case f, to which we apply Newton's iteration. This function small case f is 1 over x minus a. It was given in the problem. The function capital case f at x is x minus fx divided by f prime of x, that is x minus 1 over x minus a, and that divided by the derivative of 1 over x minus a, which is just minus 1 over x squared. So, derivative of minus a is 0 because a is a constant. This simplifies to 2 times x minus a times x squared. We started with the function f of x equals 1 over x minus a. We formed the function capital F at x of Newton iteration, which is 2 times x minus a times x squared. And then we know from Newton's method that by simply evaluating the function capital F at various points, we get an approximation of the solution of the equation small case f of x equals 0. This means that division can be approximated by multiplications and additions, because to compute 2 times x minus a times x squared amounts to multiplying first x by 2, and then x by itself to get x squared, and finally x squared by negative of a to get minus a times x squared, and then we have to, as our last step, add 2x and minus a times x squared together. So division can be therefore approximated by multiplications and additions only, and these are computations that computers can do very well. 
Let us see how this works. If a equals 3, we may take x0 to be 0 0.5. If we do that, then x1 is capital case F evaluated at x0, it is 0 0.25. x2 is capital case F evaluated at x1, x3 is capital case F evaluated at x2, and finally x4 is capital case F evaluated at x3, and computation yields 0 0.3333, a very good estimate already. So this works well and allows us to compute reciprocals of numbers, or rather decimal point approximations of these reciprocals, without uh, actually performing divisions at all. Let us see what happened graphically. On the right, you see the graph of the function 1 over x minus 3. If we were to start from a wrong place, so if our initial estimate x0 would be a number which is too large, like is in the case of this picture, then x1 would be a negative number, because it would be formed by simply drawing the line tangent to the graph of 1 over x minus 3 at the point x0, 1 over x0 minus 3, the point indicated in the picture. And this blue tangent line intersects at x-axis at a negative point, and then when we repeat this process, we get even to a worse estimate of 1 over 3. Therefore, we conclude that Newton's method does not work if the initial guess is not chosen correctly. But if it is chosen correctly, as we did, then Newton's method yields very quickly a good approximation of the solution. In this problem, we have to apply Newton's method to the equation x squared minus a equals zero to estimate numerically the square root of a positive number a. We have to use the algorithm to approximate numerically square root of 7. We solve this using Newton's method, and we apply that to the function f of x equals x squared minus a. a is a positive number. The corresponding function capital F at x is x minus fx divided by f prime of x, that is x minus x squared minus a divided by 2 times x. And this is just x over 2 plus a over 2 times x. And that can further be written as 1 half times x plus a over x. So here we have the function small case f at x, x squared minus a, and the corresponding function capital F at x equals 1 half x plus a over x. If a is 7, then we start with the initial guess x0, 7, x1 is approximately 2.654, this is the function capital F, evaluated at x0. And x2 is uh, capital F evaluated at x1, that is approximately 2.646, and then x2 is already a correct approximation. The method to approximate the square root of a positive number a numerically by iterating the function capital F of x equals 1 half x plus a over x was invented already by the Babylonians long time ago. They did not know of differential calculus. It may be that their reasoning was the following. Consider the function capital F as defined before and the equation capital F at x equals x. Now, when we iterate the function capital F at points, x0, x1, capital F at x0, x2, capital F at x1, and so forth, then we get numbers which approach a solution to the equation capital F at x equals x. This follows since the function capital F is a continuous function. Now the equation capital F at x equals x is simply x equals one half times x plus a over x. 
and this becomes 2 times x equals x plus a over x. Multiplying by x, we get 2 times x squared equals x squared plus a. Move the additional x squared from the right-hand side to the left-hand side to obtain that x squared equals a. And therefore, by iterating this function capital F, we find a solution to the equation capital F of x equals x, and that solution satisfies x squared equals a. So that is a square root of this number a. Here in this picture, you see a Babylonian clay tablet. The diagonal displays an approximation of square root of 2. These Babylonian clay tablets seem to suggest that Babylonians not only were able to approximate square roots of numbers, but they also most likely were aware of the theorem of Pythagoras, long before Pythagoras. This picture is um, from the Yale Babylonian collection. The photograph is by Bill Kasselman.